Alright guys, I'm back and I want to wish you guys a happy Easter for all you guys um, on the channel. I know I have been uploading a lot lately and you're probably saying, CJ, why are you not uploading? Basically, I've been busy and I, I kind of had, I've kind of like had a break from YouTube because you know what? I had family over last week and now this is also Easter today and I just thought, you know what? I don't want to really do videos when I've got people over and whatever and obviously Easter, so, and I've been busy with everything, so anyway, I'm back with WWE 3 count, I know it's a bit late, I didn't really have much really to talk about on this episode of WWE 3 count, um, really, there's basically not really much to talk about, so the first topic I'm going to talk about is Alberto Del Rio, um, shooting on Triple H and WWE, so apparently over the weekend, Del Rio was drunk with Paige in, I think it was New York or somewhere, and he was basically talking down about Triple H, and, Calling Triple H a pussy and a fucking big nose and um, basically burying WWE and Triple H. And that is not very good for Paige because Paige is employed by the WWE. She is still on the contract. She may not want to go back to WWE, but she is still at this time employed by WWE. And she, her going back there, she's going to get very much a lot of heat from guys like Triple H and Vince McMahon because they shoot, you know... Uh, from Del Rio's actions, and Del Rio is one of those guys, I don't know what's up with the guy, because every time that we hear about him, he's always in the news this year, he was like, he got stabbed, well that wasn't his fault, he was just protecting his girl, but, or, he got the wellness policy the last year with WWE, or, you know, they get married, or, it's always a new story about Russell Del Rio, I don't know, like, why he, I don't know what's wrong with Del Rio, is there like something in his brain that's mentally not there, who knows, but in my opinion, Del Rio, I think he's just a bitter, uh, I think he's just a bitter bitch, in my opinion, that he left WWE, and he will never return, because, you know, he bashed Triple H, uh, Vince McMahon, I mean, you know what, Del Rio was always the guy that, were, were the guy who was drawing, like, guys like CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, John Cena, he was never the guy, you know, the top guy, or, or even an edge, you know, but yeah, Del Rio, I just think you're kind of a bitter cunt in my opinion, and you know, um, you, you deserve what you get, and for Paige, I mean, I feel sorry for her, because she's got to stay in WWE a bit longer, I know that she wants to leave WWE, because she doesn't, she obviously wants to be with Del Rio, but they're making this movie about her, thanks to the rot, so yeah, um, second I want to talk about is basically, this New Japan wrestler apparently collapsed over the weekend. Well, I think it's a couple of days ago, so I hope he's okay. And yeah, my prayers are with his family stuff. So. And then the second thing is that, well, the last thing is, um, oh yeah, my thoughts on the WWE shakeup. Now, no, no, all the wrestlers have kind of like been separated. I feel like, in my opinion, um, you know what? I mean, like KO and Sami Zayn on the same brand why are they still on the same brand I just can you not put Sami Zayn on Smackdown and you could have kept KO on Raw because now WWE are in a pickle now because now they gotta shift their storylines from Raw they gotta now blow off the Raw feuds from like you know, to KO Jericho and whatever and now they got Bray White Randy Orton on the Raw pay-per-view because Bray White's on fucking Smackdown like this this whole thing is a, kind of a cost of fuck to me because on the other hand, you know, you've got some people that are glad to go over there, like KO, I'm glad he's on SmackDown, but you've got Sami Zayn still over there, and I don't want to see Sami Zayn versus KO, and then on the Raw side, well, basically, a lot of people who I wanted to go to SmackDown did, but on the Raw side, you got a lot of big names still on Raw, you got Jeff the Hardys, you got um, Roman Reigns, you got Braun Strowman, you got Brock Cousin, you got Goldberg, um, you know, you've got a lot of big names, the Revival, and, and, you, and obviously SmackDown got a couple of big names out there. New Day, baby! Uh, they got Rusev, Lana, um, who else did they get? Uh, oh yeah, Sami Zayn and Ke uh, Kevin Owens, and, uh, yeah. So then they, they, I mean, SmackDown, I think, did worse in this brand split than, well, in this, in this draft, than actually Raw did. Raw actually benefited more, because, you know, they got more main event talent. I know, you know, SmackDown's got Nakamura, which I was worried that was going to spoil Nakamura and AJ Styles, but I'm glad they kept Nakamura, because they really need a top face on SmackDown with AJ Styles to really build up SmackDown, I think, because they've lost a lot of talent over there. 
Um, so yeah, I'm glad that they kept Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt's gone over. That's another guy who went over from Raw. So in my opinion, it was a very much a lose-lose situation for SmackDown and a, and a win-win for Raw. So overall, that's my WWE uh, three count. What do you guys think of these new stuff? It's in the comments section below, guys. Now, check you later.